Hi everyone, it's Vivi Cameron here and I'm here to share some ideas and inspiration using products from Wonderful Wishes Stamping released by Tonic Studios. So I started by stamping all the images from the stamp sets in this release and I used Nubo Hybrid Ink because this ink allowed me to add colors with Nubo alcohol markers or with any water-based pigment. I like to keep the stamps on the lid of the stamping platform so if I need to re-stamp this again after coloring I can do that easily and I'm swapping here the lid of the platform from another platform lid and then I keep stamping. So I wanted to show you all the different images you will get in this release. This is a collection of only five stamp sets, but if you see there, the stamping possibilities are endless. The images are beautiful and they come in different sizes. You can make cards, tags, boxes, or you can also stamp your own patterned paper. Here I'm showing you how to do a simple masking technique to create a scene that I later color using Nubo alcohol markers and I was kind of happy with this but then I decided to add a kind of shading and then I really didn't like uh, the way this was looking so this project went to the paper craft heaven. No other projects on my crafty table make it to my blog. However, you can make some recycling and save some bits and bobs from those experiments and make something like this. Okay, in this video, I want to focus on Nubo Shimmer Powder Coloring. All you have to do is to apply a little tiny amount of the product on a palette and activate this pigment with water. These pigments are fully blendable. This means that you can create endless shades of colors by mixing them. If you want to give them a try but you are not sure, I will advise you to get the yellow, the blue and red and black. So primary colors and a dark color to be able to create secondary and tertiary colors and this means that you will be able to create any color with those. However, when you get the whole range of colors, you have more possibilities and you have to do less effort. Uh, let's say it that way. So I'm going to apply water here on the powders and you will see how the powder just become a kind of paint just by mixing this and I will be able to apply color with this. Once the powders dry on the palette, I can close the palette and store it like that and every time I want to use this, I can just open it, apply a little bit of water and I'm ready to go. This always activates with water, but once it's on the paper and it dries, it becomes semi-permanent. So it's not that easy to lift the color or to lift the shimmer from the paper. Okay, so I'm going to speed this up because there is no a reason for me to show you this slowly. It took me about 20 minutes to color this chip, but 20 minutes in a video like this is a lot of time. So I started by applying the colors on the paper using a water brush. You can use a standard brush if you want. And when the color is wet or the paint is wet on the paper, I can come and drop in color to create a nice effect or watercolor effect. However, these are shimmer powders. It has limitations, but to be honest, I really love the colors. So you can see 
how vibrant these colors are and how simply you can just apply colors to images. One thing I advise is to work from light to dark. So you can darken and darken your images as you go, but you don't need to start applying dark shades of color first because it will be harder to get those light areas uh, after. I didn't do it here, but normally I like to apply the red color or those colors that could bleed into another colors at the very end. Because when you apply water near those pigments, it's possible that the color start bleeding into other areas. And the red color is really hard to lift from the paper. So it's better to try to apply those colors at the very end. And another thing is that my water brush is almost dry, if you can call dry. It's just wet. It doesn't have a lot of water. And it's just saying that I have a little a puddle of paint there and I clean the water brush and then I just drag that puddle into the other areas of the image. That's all I do. I always do the same thing. There is not a change in the technique or anything. And once you manage to control the water that you are applying there, you will be able to do this. I'm working with very little water. It's like little drops, like Actually, I should not use a water brush, but I just got the habit to use it, and I'm using here a Nuvo water brush. And when you get used to a, a tool or something, well, then you, you have to use whatever you feel more comfortable to use. So another thing, if you notice, is I apply a little bit of the pigment on the image, and with the water brush, I just spread the pigment all over. So. These images are small, super easy to color. You don't need even to do any shading or anything. It's just applying colors and enjoy coloring. This is just one idea. You can apply alcohol markers to this, another watercolors you have, color pencils, watercolor pencils. The sky is the limit. Okay, after I'm happy with the coloring and I finish this, I'm just trim all the images and I also apply color to this snowman here. There are three faces in this stamp set that you can use to stamp on this snowman and I really love this one so I'm going to use this one. I really think that this is adorable and just one image gives you many many different possibilities because you also have clothes to dress up this snowman in different ways. Even when you have your images all together, I already glued the parts on place, I can also apply more color. So I'm using here Nuvo water color pencils, just to add some shadows here and there, and to make this a little bit more special. So you can see there the different options you have with this stamp set. You have a family, a couple, and an individual snowman that you can use in many different ways. So with one of those snowmen, I decided to make a tag for a box and I'm going to be using this die set here. And I'm only going to use the frame and dies to create the box. So this is super easy to do. Every time you get a Tonic Studios die set, you will get a main die, which is a frame die, and you will get a bunch of intricate uh, dies that are to create panels for your cards. I'm not going to use any of those. So from this Mary and Bright uh, paper pad, I'm going to use one sheet to die cool a heart and I'm also going to use this card that coordinates perfectly with that paper. And to be able to die cool the paper with this die, you need a large format die cutting machine so if you see here, this is the tangerine uh, plate for my tangerine die cutting machine. And then I don't have any problem to die cut this in any way. But if you have a small die cutting machine, the die won't fit in the machine. So that's very important to let you know. Tonic Studios boxes are really easy to assemble. So after you have used several dies by this company, you will understand how they work 
how you should fold the scoring lines and well how to put this together so if you see that is super duper simple so this is the base of the box okay i also use this other die in the die set to cut these two pieces of foiled card by tonic studios remember all the supplies i'm using in this video are listed in the video description once i have my box done and something i want to show you just in case you haven't seen these wool springs is uh, these uh, plastic wool springs that come in a package of 25 or something i bought them from america and all you have to do is to stick these in the back of your image stick it on your project and you will be done you will have some fun kind of action there in your project and as always i changed my mind and i decided to adhere this snowman on that stripped piece of paper and i adhere a piece of cardstock just in the back to give some sturdiness to the paper if that's english to make it strong the paper there and i also was thinking okay i can also use this for a card topper or well the sky is the limit but i stuck to my project of creating this little box and i think it turns super cute and sweet and has a bonus project in this video i'm also going to show you how to make these super simple backgrounds and there are several products from the Nuvo range that you can use to make these backgrounds. Today, I'm going to be using Nuvo Glimmer Paste, but you can also use Nuvo Mica Mist, Nuvo Mousses, Nuvo Expanding Mousses, or also traditional Nuvo Glimmer Paste. Okay, I'm here with my daughter, Emma. She's only six years old, but she insisted that she wanted to show you how to do this. So I'm squeezing the ink of two Aquaflow pens inside that little container there we are going to use a piece of tonic watercolor paper next we are going to use a makeup brush to apply a little bit of water into the mix and we are going to apply that pigment over the half portion of this piece of paper once we have that done we clean the brush and we apply more water to the brush to be able to get a light and soft wash of color over the other half portion of the paper. Once this is done, all we have to do is to come back all over the paper with the clean brush, because I'm cleaning here the brush, and it's slightly wet, not super wet, and from side to side, I'm just trying to create a seamless degradation of color. You can use one color, two colors, three colors of Nubo Aquaflow paints and get different shades of colors. And now we're going to do something that is really addictive and we are going to be applying the glacier paste. If you saw there, I like to cover the containers with press and seal or foil to keep the product moisture. Uh, some of these products dries if you don't close the the, the container properly so this is how you easily achieve that beautiful texture on the paper emma wanted to give it a try and when she was doing this for the very first time i noticed some of the things that she was doing that wasn't helping her to do this quicker and everything was about how she was holding the spatula so it's very important to hold the spatula like in 45 degrees from the paper. If you see there, she's basically using the spatula in vertical, like 90 degrees from the paper. So that makes the paste application a little bit time consuming. I explained her how to do it in the right way. And after a couple of tries, she was able to make a bunch of these panels. So here's Emma reaction when we remove the stencil from the paper. What do you think? It's good! Beautiful, isn't it? Uh-huh. So she loved it and I did too and we wanted to see how these pastes look in different background colors. So we got a little bit lost on time doing this.
it's very important to allow this to dry overnight and you can die cut this the next day and that texture won't lose any shape at all. Another thing I did for this background was splattering some water, lifting the color. I also sprayed some purple Nubo Mica Mist on that background there. And for this one here, I just used the stencil with a pink Mica Mist. So you can see the difference in textures when using different products. So these are all those backgrounds. They have a lot of shimmer and making cards like this is super easy. You have to enjoy a little bit of coloring. Then you just trim or fussy cut your images and you stick them on the background with a little sentiment. I wasn't sure about these busy backgrounds, but I think this card looks beautiful. And I also did some heat embossing for the banners, super easy, Nouveau Aquaflow coloring. And I also embellished the cards using Nouveau Dream Drops and Nubo stone drops. So you can see here how those little embellishments add a lot of value to these cards. And because a party is not a party without a prize or a giveaway, so I'm having five prizes and giveaways in my blog, and I'm going to show you one of them just for you. This can be yours and I also have another four prizes to share with you. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this sneak peek video. Do not forget to visit my blog for more ideas and inspiration, pictures, videos, discount code and giveaways. Thank you very much for watching and happy crafting. Bye.